right? Plus the moment of inertia of the 60 kilogram person, which is 60 times, what's this distance going to be? If this is 2.5, that's uh, 3.5, right? Yeah, 60 times 3.5 squared. Okay? And then omega initial is given, 2 rads per second. And then the final angular, the final moment of inertia, well, now they have released the rope, right? Uh, so they're now farther away from each other. So their distance is 15. So where's their center of mass going to be now? So their center mass is still going to be closer to here. Uh, we could do another equation to get the center of mass, right? X center of mass is equal to uh, 60 times 15 divided by 160 again. So we get the center of mass again. So uh, that'll be what? Uh, I believe that's uh, 900. Divided by 160. Five point six two five. So this one is five point six two five. And then this one is nine point nine point three seven five. Right? So now, take the moment of inertia, the new moment of inertia, which is greater, right? So that one is going to be 100 times 5.625 squared plus 60 times. 9.375 squared times omega final. And that's it. That's how you get the final omega. So this is a good problem because it shows a case where you have no collision involved, but you're still conserving angular momentum. Uh, it, it helps. Uh, and also, you're using a lot of stuff to do the problem. You're, you're using center of mass. You're using the... Uh, how we learned, you know, about moment of inertia, and uh, you're, you're putting a, together a bunch of stuff. So what's the answer there? Which one? This one? Two point? Oh, that one was wrong? Oh, okay. So let's change that to... 2.25, and then this one would have been 3.75. So then calculate that. Point. Oh, okay, that slowed down quite a bit. Point thirty two radians per second. Yeah, so that was I, I knew it should have slowed down. So it should be less than two. Okay, so let's erase this.